everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Vox Occamus 3D. Boy, the boy has finally gotten his 3D. Isn't that crazy? Isn't it crazy how that happens sometimes? Finally gotten his 3D. So here we have Voxima Akamas 3D reveal date confirmed. It's going to be July 6th, 2200 JST, how whatever that is in the English side. And here is the little thing that they've done for him. 3D begins with Vox Akama. So it's basically the AR Live 3D, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like it's the exact same 3D as AR Live. I mean, it doesn't look entirely crazy like crazily well done or anything like that at least they give him a a, a a place to be and yeah at least he's getting a 3d uh take it as you will it is vox akam <clears throat> mr uh they can always graduate mr there is no um no bullying inside of nidi sanji you know that type of thing the guy from the black screen stream he's finally getting his 3d which as i've always said congratulations to them and of course I wish the best for them, uh, but, you know, it's a little too little too late for a lot of people. And uh, this is probably not going to go as well as people would have wanted because it looks very much like the AR Live 3D. It looks very much like that just based on it. Uh, let's prove it otherwise. I'm going to think it's like the AR Live 3D. Right now, we have uh, Twisty being Twisty. Twisty Amanozako is an interesting uh, creature, interesting creation, person, whatever you want to call it, because this is what she does. She says, please kiss me and... Oh, God. What? I mean, yeah, that is that is that is definitely a sentence I did not expect to see from Twisty. An actual lyric from the song of Hoshikawa covered. Ah, uh, okay. ESL moment, I hope. Uh, I just checked to make sure this was real. What the F? I did a double take and took a screenshot as proof. Not something I expected from an official corporate account. Apparently, it's in reference to this song. Uh, I learned a new English word today. Thank you. It's in reference to this song here. I'm not going to be able to play it because it is copywritten. But the lyrics to this song, My Crush, does have something like that uh, apparently on there, which is, uh, like I said, a uh, message I did not expect from Twisty and a message I did not expect from a corporate account. But here we are. Uh, those lyrics to the Vocaloid song, My Crush, the tweet is still weird as F, but it's expected from Twisty. Yeah, she's kind of a meme queen, so it's kind of expected. Sakana's not the only CEO hitting up the psych wards for his next big talent, it seems. Uh, she doesn't give an F anymore, so she's collabing with Ariel this week. So it's good. She doesn't give an F. She's doing what she wants. It's just having fun. Uh, it was deleted, it looks like. It looks like it was deleted uh, by Twisty. Uh, let's see. Nope, it, that's not the one I want. It was deleted by Twisty. Yeah, you don't see it anymore. You don't see it anymore in any of her things. Not at all. Um, and it, uh, the only thing you have here is like, as a young lady, I would never say such foul language. And you all saw nothing. Nah. So she's playing it off. It's too funny to forget. I'm sorry, Ojo-sama. Your respect for senpai songs is admirably as well. Can't believe you deleted that gem. It was so out of pocket. Pretend I did not see. So yeah, she she just she's playing around. She's messing around, which is a positive thing. It's fine, <laughs> you know. It's an interesting thing to say, but it's fine overall. Nidhi Sandy's thinking we have our own Selen. Kind of schizo take, but I can't help but notice about Nidhi's collab stuff. Honestly, good for them that they're putting the effort to promote their EM branch. Recently, they would have had almost every collab, as if it's kind of like how Doki formerly Selen got every sponsorship collab. Are they trying to emulate how successful Niji is by plastering Lyra all over the collaborations? Basically, she's getting it because she's she's uh you know. She's favorited by a lot of people, by a lot of higher people. Said it in the figure post, but it's because they're pushing and they've always pushed her as the face of Niji EN. Wouldn't be surprised if she was the first one signed, but she has the most merch deals and majority uh, to pop up everywhere. Yeah, they're trying to put her as like the, like how Gura is pretty much the face of uh, Hollow Live EN. They're trying to push Ilira as the face of Niji Sanji EN. Problem is that since she did not, she did horrible black screen video, many consider Ilira a corporate stooge. And her presence opportunities are treated like favoritism by any color corporate. Yeah, it's because of what happened in the black screen stream. Uh, she is treated very much like a favorite, like a golden child. Maybe those have been planned before February. She lives in Japan now. Much easier to coordinate because, you know, any color's communication skill with overseas contractors is horrible. It's very true. And maybe some inertia, maybe some favoritism, maybe no brain. Yeah, a lot of things. A lot of things could be the reason for this. But yeah, it's it's one of those things that it's just favoritism and it just seems like it. 
far from being the most popular she's not the most popular selene always had more subs selene always had better uh creative works whenever things were done she had more collabs it seems like outside but they had Illyra, it seems like a golden child and that's where things went wrong the numbers mason why do they make me tingle why do the numbers make me tingle keep in mind this is the only everywhere but japan section um this is english uh hollow live english has 7 million hours, it looks like. Uh, plus 208%. Holy crap. Ah, that was with the Justice. That's why. How Live English has much better because Justice, they had a bunch of views with that. Nidisanji Yen, down 44%. Hollow Live JP, this looks like it's a small Hollow Live, you know, one right there, is down 9.4%. Uh, Face Connect is up 77%. Uh, that looks like, is that Aka Virtual here? Vlast, Neboka. And there is Nidisanji JP down here. Why, why is that? That's very weird. It's just for this month, though. It's just for this month. It's just for this month, though. Just for the month. Let's see what's going on. Uh, this is only uh, Japan from what they're seeing. Keep in mind, this is overseas branch only chart. Should have been put overall chart, to be honest. I think separation of the two charts is a new thing. Why not they did it? Because they noticed the really large increase in hollow yen. Because English brands beat everything aside from the top two JP branches. Probably not the latter. Hollow Yen has been third before, and it's the fourth most in the other months anyways, but the jump to 5 to 7 million might have been the cause. Niji Yen viewership is down by 44%, while Hollow EN rise 200%, Niji Yen coverage only said 800, CCV only 800, while Hollow ID and uh, Stars EN got 2,000, 1,000 respectfully, so respectively. So yeah, uh, they're doing rather well. Justice is the bomb. Hollow hit the jackpot among Justice. I feel Liz and Rara stand out. Liz singing and Rara's blessed laugh are the bombs. Uh, Mama Mia, skippa skippa. Uh, damn, Niji's number is rough, even on the JP side. Uh, Niji GTA, they saved Niji and J JP this June. It generated a huge buff in terms of what watch hours, uh, but of course they couldn't really do much. Here's the Japanese branch about live streaming summary by the company June 2024. Because of Niji GTA, Niji take W this month. This is just on the Japanese branch. They beat um, Hololev English, uh, Hololev JP just barely. Uh, we have here 56.5% up because of, of the GTA collab, 24.2% uh, up for JP. Brave Goop, Neo Porte, they're all having pretty good numbers. Uh, Face Connect, um, you have Aka Virtual, Aplan, Varium, Vlast, they're all doing well enough. They're all doing pretty good. Moving on to Hollow Live a little bit, Hollow Live ID. Uh, even though they are the lowest grossing out of the EN branches, which are only two, uh, they still are being heavily supported by uh, Hollow Life in their full amount because that's the, what they do. Now, this is one of their songs called High Street Time. It is this one here. Let's listen to it a little bit. That sounds good. I'm not going to be able to play a lot of it, of course, because it is Hollow Life. They do tend to copyright strike when songs come out like that so trying to protect the channel <laughs> to not have too many copyright strikes uh so yeah but look at all this look what they're doing they already have it um hard-coded uh subs subtitles and they have all of them here animated in a certain way it's very nice this isn't an intro video this is kind of like it reminds me of persona a little bit the way that they're doing it um but yeah it's very nice very nice very nice i love it Love it. I absolutely love it. I'm glad that Hollow Life still supports them like that. The actual transcript is here. The official transcript. Uh, I've covered these questions before, but this is the official transcript over here. Considering the situation of other companies, it's become clear that entering a market with a different culture entails great risks. But does Cover intend to continue expanding its EN business? Have you done any prior research to avoid making the same mistakes? We understand that global expansion, each region has its own culture and customs. We recognize that no matter what region it is, there are things to be aware of in each culture and custom. With regards to future global expansion, we have increased the number of employees compared to before. Our internal structure will enable us to respond to the expansion of global expansion. So yeah, they're going to be doing more expansion. Uh, this one is primarily uh, terminating contracts due to information leaks, both in the past and present, regular mental care, medical examinations, and education on cases of information leaks are things that immediately come to mind. What kind of preventative mechanisms are you creating? We're preparing information management training for our talents which has already been conducted twice for domestic talents and will be conducted for EN and ID in the future. We also plan to arrange for health checkups for our talents with the company covering the cost. That's amazing. Regarding talent health management, we are building a system in which talents manager will always be attentive to the talent's health condition. With regards to health management, yes, basically there. Um, for talent education, we expanding pre-debut education. Problems are discovered. We will take the best possible measures, such as learning the entire team again and taking follow-up measures. 
Believe our support system may also need to create new necessary environment depending on the talent stage, and we will be able to take appropriate measures for that situation. So yeah, basically, they're going to be looking at the broadcast, the frequency and time, encouraging them to manage their health. Also building a system where the company covers the cost of health checkups, so that's very good. Uh, happen distribution of the video shedding site Billy Billy in the future. Content development, this is very important, through Billy Billy, is carried out by the company with sufficient preparation, and we believe that multiple distributions themselves have been carried out without any problems. So they're going to continue Billy Billy, but kind of like in a smaller way. Fidget account is under a certain level of management by our company that is disseminating information in China as part of delivering content to fans around the world. Rumors that some related parties may have leaked information, but when we checked, we found this was not true. This is not a leak from within the company. We have identified the source and are dealing with it appropriately. So the 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 CEO of NOA leaked some stuff and they're dealing with it. Seen occasional suspensions of merchandise sales at various events due to lack of stock or inadequate response. It seems that every time a sale is suspended, an opportunity loss occurs. Are there are any plans to improve this in the future. Due to the nature of event goods, it is difficult to stock large quantities. So we're preparing as much as possible by predicting demand through advanced sales. We would like to also improve any areas that can be improved in the future. So basically, you can't have like 5,000, uh, you know, pieces of merchandise and only sell 2,000 at the location. Then that means you've lost. That's why they try to kind of figure out what, how big it's going to be and try to base it on that. Of course, it's not an exact science. So you don't, you don't know 100%. The hollow earth thing, high spec PC is required to use content. Are there plans to lower specs for the official service? We want as many people as possible to experience our service to that end. We believe it is essential to develop our service on multiple devices. At this stage, we plan to focus on developing the service on PCs and polishing it and then moving on to different things like, you know, uh, phones, etc. Regloss was named by the president of a top K-pop idol group. I think we were working in Korea. They would have been so able to grow a top uh, K-pop environment. So why are they working in Japan? Tanigo said himself, uh, it says, our company is not aiming to make Regloss a K-pop idol group. However, unlike Hololive up until, up until now, we're aiming to make Regloss stand out as a unit, more like K-pop idols, not exactly being one by working as a unit. Therefore, we are not currently planning on working in Korea, but we would like to continue working on lessons and other matters so we can realize a situation where we can work as idols as a unit. Um, they're very obviously talking about Nidhi Sanji with the first one, so that's termination. The way worded it, it was interesting. They're directly putting the blame of the drama on any color, not Doki, despite what JP and Nidhi sisters would have you believe. In the end, shareholders think any color are at fault. Of course, because it's the larger company that's at fault, not a small liver somewhere. We also have another situation, which Nidhi Sanji Yen, of course, they released some seven sale figures that I showed in my video before this one. And um, Good Smile Company has also decided to showcase their models, which are very in detail, of Hoshimachi Suise and Sakura Komiko. This is Hoshimachi Suise here at the top. You're seeing hers. Very, very beautiful. It looks very nice. It's it's uh, posable. It has a lot, and I do, I mean, a lot of details here. That's very nice. And here's Sakura Komiko. Two, who if it wasn't for Achan, they probably would have left. Here's another one. Again, very posable. The fingers are posable. It looks like the, the, the hands are posable. Um, looks like, uh, as well, a lot of good detail in the whole thing. Looks very nice. And of course, these are just the prototypes, if I'm not mistaken. These aren't the final figures, if I'm not mistaken. But these are the prototypes that they're having. It's going to be so much nicer for each and every one of them. The Suisopath is uh, singing her heart out for each and every one of us, you know, doing wonderful things like that. Let's see what people have to say. Here's the both of them there. This is going to be their, their figure prototypes, it looks like. Yes. Yes, it's a Sigma prototypes. So these are going to be prototypes for everything that they're going to be doing. Of course, people are going to be very happy because these are two very, very beloved members of early members of Hololive. And Hololive JP really supports their staff and their livers. There's VTubers, so this is wonderful. I'm very glad. And even with the situation with Nidhi Sanji, it is still nice that they actually put some effort into it because if you look at the figures, they don't look too horrible. If it wasn't for the situation that was going on, I probably would have even tried to buy one of them because it looks really nice. But because of the situation, I am buying any of the Nidhi Sanji stuff. I might try to buy one of these, but these get sold out extremely fast. We never know. Here we go with uh, any color filing a C and D request if they ever did, if they ever did. Uh, parrot would just go this would go and say this Am I right? Wait, could I be getting one of those two? No, wait, I live in Colombia The US government says you should reconsider every traveling here And <laughs> do not travel near our border with Venezuela You know, the country openly claiming it wants to invade one of its neighbors Yeah, I don't yeah. think they have the balls to come here just for me be <laughs> Yeah, I don't think they will 
I don't think they're gonna gonna do any kind of legal stuff against Parrot. Misleading title, funny clip though. Kind of clickbait, unclear title. Imagine risking your negligible staff just to send the country to the conflict to hunt a green parrot. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna hunt the parrot. Loved it when I saw it in the vid. Agree the others though. Title's misleading. But yeah, it would be crazy if they actually did want to do this. Like, if they actually did want to do it, then that'd be fucking hilarious. On to some indie news. Peel, or Yukinoshita Peel, uh, did something for uh, Gamers Outreach, which is the VTuber SummerSlam that I am a part of as well. Um, thank you for watching my charity stream for VTuber SummerSlam 2024, organized by Gamers Outreach. This should go with 1,000 and ended up getting 11,755. Uh, HyperX did 1,000 match completed. Tragic did 1,000. Pia said in the past she has no interest in joining a corporation. She enjoys her community way too much for her to consider something like that. People are saying maybe Hollow Life could try to scout her. I don't think it's going to happen. She said before she was scouted as some joint to join a corporation in the past, and she rejected it. Considering she's a huge Ame fan, I found her while Amelia, Amelia raided her. Can't hurt but help. What's the difference between only Pia uh, get the boost? She then kept that audience. Her English has improved so much that she has worked on it to communicate with her new English chatters. It's kind of awesome. That she has done that literally the biggest ame simp of course it's nice it's nice to see this happen and of course again going this 11,755 absolute cinnamon roll yuki norshita pale has ended her charity stream with massive success she only expected a thousand but she exceeded that amount 10 times because of course larger corporations ended up giving a thousand as well great stream glad she is to see uh to, there to see in and help a little bit happy when we broke 10k and then at the very end she's a good person with a bug heart so let's take a look at her she's there Kinoshita Pale, cute, 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 cute. Of course, always love these cute creatures. Always love them. Doki Bird News, Doki Bird News. Let's take a look. Thank you, Dokomi. Hope you come back to EU again. You guys are so strong for staying up and waking up early for my streams. Next up, Anime Expo. So they went to Dokomi. A lot of people had fun. The face of the people smiling in front of Doki made me tear up, not gonna lie. It's like that thank you banner for Hello Game Studio, unforgettable. Typical Doki W. Happy for her, hoping she appears in more. She's appearing, she's, she's missed worldwide. Uh, wish I could actually follow her. I don't think she has EU friendly schedule. I'm from the EU and I can't help. She's my Oshi. I'm fighting for my life sometimes, but it's worth it. Yeah, she has a, she lives in the West Coast of Canada. So yeah, it's going to be, um, based on that. Population drawn Doki's appearance, count one, versus the population drawn by the latest Niji concert, multiple talents. Yep. It's a, it's a win for Doki. And Doki has another thing where she says, no, oh no, I'm hot. It's just how, um, just how fluid everything. I'm just so not used to it. Like, I'm, I'm so not used to like how fluid, um, how fluid the rigging is. Honestly, Oof, that's it's a hit towards the Sanji. <laughs> oh, it's so. It, oh my gosh, it's, it's insane. I'm, I'm so used to barely moving. <laughs> Oof, that's like a hit to to Nidhi Sanji. <laughs> It is, it's, 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 it's actually like, I can't, sometimes I just can't stop looking at myself. Cause I was like, damn, I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> of course she's going to say that. Um, all right. Anyway, actual, sorry. Now we're at the real, I'm so sorry. We're at. Yeah. I, I love it. You gotta love Doki. You gotta love how she is. You gotta love it. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.